All right, this is an update to a previous video I made about creating a WordPress child theme. I was using, in that video, I used the old method at import in the style sheet to import a parent style sheet. Didn't realize at the time that WordPress has recommended that you unqueue the parent style sheet and you unqueue through the add actions the uh, child style sheet. You can find more more about that at uh, let me see. What is it? Codex G Child Themes. There we go. Yeah, and I'll leave the URL for this. You can find out more information about it, but I'm just going to sum it up for you real quick here because I'm doing some I'm going through and updating sites that I maintain to, to do this. This is a site currently I've built using the, I used the Vanish theme on this. Uh, just to quickly recap about the child theme, I'm not going to go to it all. I have another video. I'll leave a link for that. But basically, you have the parent theme, and you create a child theme. I call my advantage hyphen child. You can name it anything you want to name it. The name's not important. In there, the old method was you create a style sheet. You use the add import rule. Add import and you imported the parent style sheet you see right there and then any other work you wanted to do you would grab the footer or the header or the parts folder or the includes folder whatever drag it into your child theme make all your edits there leave them in your child theme and those will be used instead of the ones in the parent theme if you screw up something in the child theme you just delete it it goes back to using the parent theme if you update the parent theme, it won't overwrite your child theme styles. That's why you use the child theme. That's the most important reason. So, in the old days, all you needed, style sheet, add import, import parent style sheet, you had a child theme, presto, just like that. You don't didn't need a functions PHP in there, but uh, if you wanted to add new functions, you would want to add your new functions and functions PHP in the child theme. However, you're not going to bring in the entire functions PHP like you would the header or the footer or something like that to work on you're just going to whatever you whatever you want new that's where you put it in your functions PHP and leave the rest as is okay so that said let's do this first okay that's the way the site looks let's go ahead and disable the style sheet I'm going to take cut this part out update and all my styles that I've done custom styles should be gone and as you can see they are it looks like a total mess now now what I want to do is I want to go to functions PHP make sure you got your opening PHP tag up top there and I'm creating a function name my function child underscore styles you can name it anything you want but that's just some and you're going to unqueue the style, the parent style, and you're going to get the theme uh, template directory, the style CSS from the parent theme. It's going to automatically go out and find that for you. Then you're going to add an action underneath that. You're going to unqueue scripts, and you're going to unqueue your child styles as well. So let's update that. Let's refresh. And there it is. It's back. And if you look... In the uh, information here in your header, let me see if I can find it real quick. All right, you'll see what it's doing now. That, now that it's on queuing, it, it's doing this. It's get, it brings in the parent style sheet first, and then it brings in the child style sheet second. And that's what you want. You want your child style sheet loading last, so it gets read last, you know, and your your styles overwrite the parent. So that's all there is to creating the parents uh, on queuing the style sheets and create. And really, I just basically redid the first video, except I did it a lot faster. So you may want to watch the first video to get a little more in-depth information on creating child themes. But that's how you on queue a child theme in WordPress. If you like this video, how about give me a like, share it, and leave a comment.
or any uh, any combination of that. I visit my website www.skeeterz71.com for more video tutorials for web design, and graphic design, and many I have many videos there that are not on YouTube. And you have a good day.